Okay guys, so here's an add-on with my man Mark for the, uh, the leg lock. We looked at the leg lock drill before when we were in the scissor, a safety drill, because like every submission, everything you do, you gotta have safety. We gotta look after our partners, be functional at the same time. I tucked my leg away, I turned to my side, and I hit my leg. And I end up in this position. Now I have heel, foot, Achilles, all controlled, all safe for mine. We also talked that Mark could roll, and if he rolls, I roll with him, and I maintain the same position, and we could go back in there. So I wanted to add one thing to it, and we we're gonna add further things to it in videos. This is one thing to stop him do the initial roll, and quite possibly finish it easier and uh, quicker. Control, tuck, here, over the top. Now, before Mark makes his decision, I'm gonna push his leg out and I interlock it. And I'm keeping it around his calf, squeezing my knees, and if Mark just gently moves his leg around, I'm gonna extend it. And then, I can take the submission again. So again, obviously Mark understands there's always something to do, something to do to escape it and survive it, but it's getting finer and finer now to make the decision. Of course, there's a counter to it, but when we do it, make sure you're super safe with your partner's legs. One more time. Same thing here. Control, tucked, turn, here. Before I go to the submission to eliminate his roll, push through. I've got a lot of pressure into my foot and my leg here. This is not a sloppy leg. Engaged, tuck it under, like triangled in. Squeeze and move my head back. Made myself even longer and even further. Now, back to whichever attack you want. This drill and others, guys, make sure you look after your partners. Be efficient and be effective.